friends, YouTube friends. Thanks for checking out my channel, my video, and like and subscribe to my channel. <laughs> so thank you for watching. Today's video is going to be all about scrubbers and good scrubbing tools. It's going to make your cleaning so much easier. First one that I like to use. This is, these are stainless steel. I'm not going to talk while I'm scrunching them because then you can't hear me. But I'm going to show you them and then I'll talk. Stainless steel scrubbing pads or scours, scouring, scouring, scouring. Say that three times fast. So this one's scotch bright. This one is like, I don't know, scour buddies. Uh, Dollar Store or Target, Home Depot, Amazon. So they come to three pack. They're not that expensive. I think it's like a dollar at the Dollar Store or maybe a dollar something, or maybe like $2 for a scotch bright, scotch bright brand. <laughs> It's tongue twister today, but these are fantastic. So they're like the little balls, as you can see. So as you use them, they kind of just start opening up more. What I love, okay, I'm not going to touch them anymore. <laughs> what I love using them for is um, cleaning an oven non-toxic. I have, I spray it down with my vinegar, Thieves Cleaner, baking soda solution, let it sit for a little bit. And then these are great for the sides where those like the, the lines are, where the little grooves are, because they get right in between, you can mold them and then they just scrub it out super awesome. So these are great for oven, oven cleaning. They're also great for helping you to get hard water soap buildup off of glass shower doors. And um, tip for all these products here, wet 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 you want to keep them wet you want to keep them wet you want to keep them wet because when they're wet they won't scratch they won't scrape they won't ruin the ceramic or the tile or whatever surface you're cleaning them with so keep them wet these are super easy you just dunk them in water or whatever cleaning solution you're using as you're um you know using them spray some more if you need more more wetness but fantastic for Hard water and grease and grime in an oven or hard water in uh, glass shower doors. But like I said, wet, 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 wet. Keep them wet. You know, your typical hand brush. These are great for just um, not as grimy cleaning. Just good for overall scrubbing. Um, sinks, bathtubs, floor tile if you're doing grout work. I have a couple of them that are even longer. Some of them are super long. The longer, the more coverage area you get. So that's really great if you're doing um, grout work. If you wanna not kill your arm so much, um, a drill brush with a brush attachment is great. I personally don't have a drill brush, so I can't really speak about it, but I know many cleaning friends of mine have drill brushes and those work fantastic as well. But if you just want something for home, you know, obviously get hand brushes. So Dollar Store, Home Depot, Target, anywhere where they sell cleaning supplies, really. These are some of my favorite tools. And you would probably never even think about it, but a paint scraper. This one is a Huffy Husky um, stiff scraper. It's a two inch. These are like metal or steel. Um, paint scrapers. I've seen some in plastic. I don't do plastic. I don't, I don't think it scrapes as well. Um, paint scrapers, they come in different sizes. So the wider, the more coverage area you get. And I'll tell you why this is great for cleaning, not just for scraping paint. Um, so I think this one's a Home Depot one. So as you can see, they're different sizes. So you could just stick them in your bag, stick them in your carrying bag. I specific love having these, especially on the first initial deep clean, because I don't know what I'm walking into. And then it's also good to have one in your bag anyway for when you need it. But here's why, here's why I love paint scrapers. I've done several foreclosed homes where the soap buildup is so thick on a tub that even if I were to spray bleach, it would only, you know, it would drip down and, and take out that line, but then you'd still have all the rest, so you still have to scrub it off. Like I said, I don't, I don't do bleach, but whatever solution you're going to spray on it, you still have to kind of brush it off because 
depending on how thick the soap buildup is, spraying isn't going to just cut everything instantly. So you can try and brush it and you're just going to kind of go around in circles and try to brush it. And I've done that before and it takes a long time. Paint scrapers. Again, keep it wet, 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 dip it in a cup with water, spray. I personally love vinegar for breaking up soap buildup. So spray a vinegar solution. I like to mix it with Thieves because it helps the mask the smell and it also helps clean as well, the Thieves cleaner. So um, I spray my vinegar solution, get it all nice and wet. And then once you kind of push through the first layer or the first little chip of peeling off that soap buildup, it, everything else kind of just peels right off. And that's why I like the really wide one because I get more coverage area on the surface of the tub. It's really good, especially when it's around the tub. On the bottom where it has those little grooves so you don't slip, that's a little bit harder to get into. Hey, say hi to Mr. Malin again. Hi. Anyway, so paint scrapers. Fantastic for just scraping off super hard soap buildup. You'll give yourself a nice little arm workout, but it's fantastic. You know, get the really wide one so you could just kind of scrape it. And then as you start scraping it, then you can probably just brush off because then it'll start kind of picking up more. It'll come off more as you start scraping it. So these are fantastic. Also, too, um, I had a client who had a floor mat practically glued to the bottom of the, the floor where the cement, the ceramic tile is. Just from, my cat's trying to eat the plastic. Just from, you know, years of walking on it in heat and it gets stuck that like um, the surface of the bottom of the mat. So I peeled it off, sprayed it down and then just went to town with this and it just picks it all up. And I'm not scratching it either because again, keep it wet. So I have a video showing how to do that. So I can link that in this video too. So paint scrapers, Home Depot, I think Amazon. I don't know about Target, but definitely Home Depot because it would be in the paint aisle. Paint scrapers. Pumice stones. You need to get your hand on a bunch of these. Um, I know Home Depot sells them for a fact. I, I'm not sure about Target. I, I can't remember if I've seen them, but definitely Home Depot. That's where I get them from. Amazon. I'm sure Lowe's. Um, so they usually, they're called a scouring stick. That word will drive me crazy. A scouring stick. So where you would have a scouring circle, <laughs> this is the same scenario as scouring stick, except this is not stainless steel or metal or anything. It's actually a pumice stone. Um, the same type of pumice stone that you would have for the heels of your feet to take off your dry skin. Same scenario. So they're shaped differently, obviously. So this is more of a cleaning type of um, scouring stick. It comes in a blue and white box, and it's usually just one or two to a box. And I think it's like two something or one something. Don't quote me, but it's not expensive. But buy a bunch of them because these things are fantastic. Oven cleaning, great for oven cleaning. I've used them for taking off mineral deposits on extremely hard waters um, and uh, bathroom sinks where like the water's basically blue from minerals and iron and calcification. Again, wet, 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 wet. Always keep it wet. Have, you know, fill up the, the the sink with water and just, and it comes right off. And you'll actually see the little pieces of stone coming off. And then it just washes away when you, you know, open the drain. So scouring stick are, they're fantastic. Again, keep them wet. So get your hands on those. I always like to have some like a little pocket knife or a little uh, scrape off knife or retractable one in my apron. Good to have because these are great for, this is a new one. So, okay. These are great for getting behind, um, there you go, getting behind uh, like a handle of a sink, a faucet when you have like mineral deposits and you kind of just want to scrape off something. Again, keep it wet, wet, wet. Can't stress that enough. But little tiny utility pocket knives are great to just have to just get little little things that you kind of have to just get around a faucet or something. So those are great. Toothbrush, same scenario. Um, get cheap toothbrushes at the dollar store that you're not going to use on your teeth. But you really just want the bristle action. Because, again, great for getting behind um, faucets because it's a little tight space. 
you can't fit this back there. You don't want to use your nail. So, you know, keep it wet and, and just helps pick up any kind of buildup or any kind of gunk that's behind there. Dishwashing, um, scrubbing pads, the heavy duty. Uh, this is not, it's heavy duty for plates, but it's not heavy duty for, you know, deep cleaning a foreclosed home. <laughs> That would be more like um, the paint scrapers or puma stones or stainless steel scrubbers. This is obviously for dishwashing, but these are good to have on hand too, just for kind of a little bit of scrubbing action. And uh, steel wool, the, this grade is specifically the 0000. I think it comes in grade 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and 0, 0, 0, 0. I believe it comes with four grades. And the grade 0000 is the finest. It is super fine stainless steel. You see that? It's just like tiny thousands of little pieces of stainless steel. And again, keep it wet. Oh yeah, here it is. It comes in four grades. Yep, fine. And then number three is coarse. And then the 0000 is fine. So it explains it down there. But the coarse would be, I, I don't know, I think that would be more for like if you're doing mechanical work and you have some kind of rust that you need to take off of something, that would be really coarse. But for home cleaning, you want to get with the fine. This is fantastic for also shower doors when there's a lot of um, soap, oil buildup on the glass. Keep it wet. And this is good for scrubbing as well. So if you don't have these... This also helps too, but again, get the zero, 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 get the fine because the course may be too coarse and then you don't want a chance scratching anything. Um, and then in the back, it even has an explanation of what the super fine, the fine, the medium, and the coarse, how that all helps out. And of course, I didn't put my glasses on, but if you want to screenshot that or, you know, go on Google and just look up steel wool. Got this at Home Depot. Don't remember the aisle. I know it's not in the cleaning aisle. I think it was in the, like a sanding aisle. Just ask. So steel wool, these are fantastic as well to have. So that's what I love to have on hand, especially for the first time deep clean because I don't know what I'm walking into. And then if I know I'm going to need it again, I just grab my little tools. And, you know, some of these are just small. You could just leave them in your cleaning bag all the time anyway. Um, now, if it gets wet, uh, you can always just spray it down with vinegar solution and then disinfect it and then just keep it to reuse again. Uh, because like I said, a lot of these are used for glass shower doors or tubs and sinks. Things that are going to get washed and you're going to clean it anyway. So you're going to disinfect it. It's not like you're going to eat off of it or anything. <laughs> but just disinfect it when you're done with it. Uh, the Puma Stone obviously will wear down. But you can then, you know, if you've used off this much, you don't throw it out. Just kind of rinse it off and put it in a piece of paper or a plastic bag and then just save it for the next time. And then a little by little, it'll just kind of disappear. It'll just wear down. Um, the toothbrushes, spray them down, rinse them out with soap and water, spray it down with vinegar to disinfect it and make sure you don't use this for brushing your teeth. So get, you know, like I said, get like some cheap ones at the dollar store because it's not like you need a specific head for your gums. It's just more for getting into tiny little areas that you can't get into with the bigger brush. And, you know, vinegar or if you bleach it, whatever way you disinfect your brushes. Um, these, after a while, I don't, I don't trust these that much. I don't use them that much. Um, even for dishwashing, I just use cloths and brushes that I can disinfect. But I've heard of some tricks of uh, sticking it in the microwave for a few seconds and it helps disinfect it. I've never tried it, but, you know, disinfect your brushes, obviously. And, uh, you know, your paint scrapers. You know, dry them when they're done, spray them, dry them, clean them, and then just put them away. And then they're, they'll be great and good to go. So those are my tips on really good scrubbers and scrapers and how to make cleaning a lot easier so you're not having to kill yourself with toxic fumes. And whatever solutions you do use, these go great along with helping you clean. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or tips, or you want to see a video about something else, let me know. Drop me a line, like, and subscribe, and I'll talk to guys and girls later. Peace out.